Happening now, Jamestown police with a busy morning, at least one person arrested. The search for a missing police diver in Buffalo turns into a recovery effort. And I'm Dakota Hunter in the Weather Center. After yesterday's storms, we have some cooler temperatures on the way with some possible frost tonight. I'll let you know coming up in just a few minutes. And a huge drug bust on Lakeview Avenue in Jamestown. Those stories and more coming up this Monday, October 16th, 2017. Live and on demand from the Chautauqua Audio Works Studios in downtown Jamestown. This is your source for breaking news. WNY News Now. And thanks for joining us. I'm James Reed. And I'm Justin Gould. Our top story, Jamestown police surrounded a house near the corner of 7th and Cherry Streets shortly before 9 a.m. One man was escorted to the back of a police car by two officers. We've been unable to confirm whether that man was actually arrested in this case. When we reached by phone and questioned about the case, Robert Samuelson said that he couldn't answer general questions and we'll, of course, continue to search for those answers at WNYNewsNow.com. The search for missing buffalo diver Craig Lehner has become a recovery effort as rescuers come to terms with the harsh reality of the search. Chautauqua County Sheriff Joe Jirasi says the men and women who serve as police divers are unique. When you're in a faster moving water, it becomes very, very difficult and can be very hazardous. Well, it's completely unique. I mean, it's not... It is, it is even unique to diving, and because of the conditions that we are doing, it's not what recreational divers normally would do. It's even riskier when they're diving in the wintertime under the ice. It becomes very, very hazardous. But you're talking about conditions that are difficult, sometimes fast-moving water, um, murky water that a recreational diver wouldn't go in, and sometimes diving to, to significant depths as well. I, I did not know him personally, it, it's, but our, our thoughts and prayers go out to his family and friends, and you know, it's got to be a horrific time for everyone. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has joined in the search for Laner. A multi-jurisdictional investigation involving Jamestown Police, State Police, and U.S. Postal Inspectors culminated in a huge drug bust on Friday. Police say 23-year-old Brian Torres was found with 15 pounds of marijuana, a loaded shotgun, a bulletproof vest, and almost $48,000 in cash. The incident took place at an apartment building on Lakeview Avenue. Police Chief Harry Snelling says one of those ways drugs come into the city is through the mail. Well, now time for your first look at the skyline, or the first defense weather forecast, rather, we, that we check in with Chief Forecaster Dakota. Hunter, Dakota, you were so busy this weekend. Yeah, yeah, we had severe thunderstorms just barreling across the region uh, Sunday afternoon, and oh boy, but hey, we don't have any of that. We have the uh, Solomaker Sky Cam up, and uh, you can see some of the advent of the cloud cover this morning. Nice bird flying underneath the uh, banner there. I like that, that was really nice. But uh, the advent of the cloud covers across the morning, but we'll talk about uh, a warm up for the weekend, and we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Back to you guys. All right, Dakota, thank you. Several local politicians knocked on doors Friday afternoon, and one of those politicians is Andrew Liuzzo, who's running for a spot on Jamestown City Council. I didn't speak English till I went to school, till I was five. But I had opportunity. I've raised five kids. I went to school. I got a degree. I'm the director of therapy and uh, occupational therapy. I've had a business here for 20 years. And when now when I'm walking around and I see kids and coming out of these substandard homes, and I look at them and I'm thinking, what chance do they have? They are defeated before they even get started. How have we failed the, commun the community, okay, by not taking and addressing the problems that we have? We'll have more on Friday's walking tour later today at WNYNewsNow.com. But first, a big Washington player right here in Lakewood. Those stories coming up. You're watching WNY News Now, where coverage comes first. 
EagleZip.com is your local one-stop shop for all of your home and business computer needs. Located on Fluvanna Avenue Extension, just outside of Jamestown, EagleZip.com sells and services all brands of desktops and laptops, as well as servers and network equipment for your business. All new computer sales include transferring your data from your old computer plus a two-year warranty. Call EagleZip.com today. Stop by EagleZip.com today and let us make computers easy for you. Congressman Tom Reed was in Lakewood Monday morning to discuss a bill that would strengthen workforce training in palliative and hospice care. The bill is dubbed Palliative Care and Hospice Education and Training Act. Reed's office says the American Cancer Society and Alzheimer's Association currently backs the bill. Cable TV giant Spectrum plans to drop 23 cable networks, according to Viacom, the parent company of those networks. Spectrum, Spectrum claims that Viacom is trying to overcharge for its programming. Meanwhile, MTV Viacom says that they've made several offers. And here's what we heard when we called Viacom this morning. Spectrum is going to drop 23 Viacom channels. Viacom is not asking for more money from Spectrum. In fact, Viacom is giving Spectrum an opportunity to lower your cable bill and keep these channels on the air. Rather than work on their customers' behalf, Spectrum is choosing to drop these channels. You will now be connected with Spectrum. Make sure you reach a live person to make your voice heard. For more information, visit keepviacom.com. The networks scheduled to be dropped include MTV, Nickelodeon, VH1, Spike, TV Land, and Comedy Central. Now, your first defense forecast with Dakota Hunter. Good Monday, uh, everybody. Let's take a look at first defense Doppler out there to start off today's weather segment. And you can see we really don't have any rain across much of the area. We have a few light rain showers up here in Monroe County, but that's about it. The radar was getting quite a workout yesterday when we had all those severe thunderstorm warnings just a barrel in across the area. And uh, let's switch to uh, the main graphics system and show you the watch warning map. And I put up my current condition. Let's look back up. There we go. And uh, that's my fault. I hit the button on my clicker. But anyway, we have a uh, frost advisory that has been issued for Chautauqua, Erie, Niagara, Orleans. Uh, I believe that's Genesee and uh, Monroe counties back up here. And uh, this is where the potential for some frost tonight. This goes until 8 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning. And then again, this is pretty much going to end the growing season across all of western New York. The temperatures dip. Uh, this cold, definitely. So tender plant vegetation, it's already ended across uh, Cattaraugus and Allegheny County. So this is pretty much, I think, going to end the growing season across the remainder of western New York. Right now, it is 44 degrees out there right now. There's that terrible wind chill index. We got a wind chill of 35. Yeah, they're saying <laughs> boo over at the anchor cut. That north wind of 13 is really kicking down that uh, wind chill. So it definitely feels a lot colder out there than it does at the moment. So your first defense forecast for this Monday, partly to mostly sunny skies on average and much cooler. Got my high only at 51 degrees. And take a look at the wind gusting around, uh, actually sustained around 8 to 14 miles an hour. That's a pretty healthy breeze. And then for tonight, partly to mostly cloudy skies, areas of frost develops. Take a look at that low, 32 degrees. We're going to hit possibly freezing tonight. Some of the colder pockets around the region may even get colder than that. So it's definitely going to be a very chilly night. And then for tomorrow, a cold start in the morning with areas of frost. The frost actually starts to lift in the afternoon. We get into plentiful sunshine, though. Take a look at that high of around 57. Not too off from our average high this morning. Chautauqua Audio Works now offers instrument rentals starting at just $17 per month. We're your school's band and orchestra headquarters, the only place with loaners on site. So pick up an instrument today. Order online with the keyword Chautauqua, shipping straight to your door. With coverage that matters, this is WNY News Now. Located in the St. Elmo building in Chautauqua Institution, La Familia Restaurant is more than a restaurant. So people love the fact that we are committed to the farm-to-table aspect and our produce and focus on sustainability with our seafood too. La Familia has signature dishes. Uh, sirloin filet over on the table. Next is our Aegean chicken and a cider brine pork chop. La Familia even has a singing chef. La Familia, fine dining with a family atmosphere. Let them host your special event today. La Familia CHQ. 
Com. Fourth quarter in Kansas City for the Steelers and the Chiefs, and Ben Roethlisberger with a 51-yard strike to Antonio Brown. 12 to 10 at that point. Alex Smith incomplete pass. Pittsburgh takes over on downs. They would go on to beat Kansas City by a final score of 19 to 13, handing the Chiefs their first loss of the season. The Bills were off on Sunday, but the Browns weren't. Probably wish they were. They're now 0 and 6 after getting pounded by the Texans, 33-17. Kevin Hogan pass intended for Duke Johnson. Look at the interception by inside linebacker Dylan Cole of Houston. He's only a rookie. On the tackle, he's injured and then carted off the field. Houston needs to worry about his well-being, but not a win. They cruise past the Browns. In baseball, NLCS Game 2 from Los Angeles and bottom of the fifth inning, Justin Turner, single up the middle. Remember that name. Again, Justin Turner played in Culberson. So we go to the ninth inning. The reason you need to remember that name is because Justin Turner comes on with two on, facing John Lackey, and boom! center field did not miss that pitch Justin Turner a walk-off home run many 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 years to the day after Kurt Gibson homered off Dennis Eckersley in the same situation but that was a World Series game this is an NLCS game doesn't discount the drama right Dave Roberts Dodger skipper our, our guys feel it we feel it the, the Cubs it's a very good ball club those guys fight every pitch and there's a reason that they're the world champions and so um we feel good where we're at, and we're going to enjoy tonight. American League Championship Series from New York tonight. Astros, the Yankees, Game 3. Houston up two games to nothing. CC Sabathia and Charlie Morton, the pitchers in that one. From the WNY Sports Now desk, I'm Ryan Hedrick, where it all unfolds here. The Main Landing Restaurant. Excellent service, awesome food, and a beautiful view. Everything's made fresh here. We love to be outside, uh, and it's nice inside if it's raining, so we have a choice. Locals and non-locals agree that the main landing is quickly becoming a destination. It's just so casual, and just the food is amazing. Uh, I love the hamburgers. But I really like the tuna I had. The main landing restaurant. Excellent service, awesome food, and a beautiful view. You're watching WNY News Now, your source for breaking news. All right, here's a day that is the cat's meow, literally. <laughs> Today is Global Cat Day. You guys excited? Oh, yeah. Let's celebrate yeah. this afternoon. <laughs> People around cat. the world are asked to come together to protect our fine feline friends. Global Aww. Cat Day has replaced the annual National Feral Cat Day. Which stinks because I got a card full of clock, you know, cards for that day to celebrate. Right. So you have to change your cards. <laughs> but that now. event began back in two thousand and one. Oh. It was started by a group called Alley Cat Allies. More than forty countries are participating in Global Cat Day, including the U.S., the U.K., Belgium, and Saudi Arabia. Cats in the U.S. get their own day this month. October 29th is National Cat Day. Oh, isn't that just perfect? Oh. <laughs> I'll be here all week, folks. Oh, man. Well, it's you know, it's good to be back yeah. here at we the Anchor you. Desk. You, you were hiding in the back there. I week. was. You know, you weren't supposed to say we missed you, James. Oh. I think the line is, you were gone. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, hey, I think that's kind of, the cat day thing is kind of cool, though. Yeah. Because, like, the feral cat day, just this morning when I was on location for that, for uh, our top story with that, that guy getting arrested, mm -hmm. there were like four or five cats walking around that neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You know, it seems like there's a big cat problem in Jamestown. Yeah, well, there's a lot of cats wandering. Yeah. Right. That are just kind of, yeah, like you could just take them in and bring them home, but I hit Max. You might Max, be careful of that because they might have rabies. Right, mm -hmm. right. Like the feral cat thing. Like you don't really want to bring a feral cat in your house, but. Yeah. I hit ma maximum uh, cat capacity, anyways. Yeah, we I, have. I have, <laughs> I have three cats. I don't know if I want to say how many we have. <laughs> it's I bad. Had, <laughs> I had one cat. I had her for almost 16 years. She passed away. Oh. Mm -hmm. What was it? Um, I want to say she passed away in 20. I think it was 2016. She passed away in the summer of 2016. Yeah. 
She's now in big cat heaven up in the sky. <laughs> That's sad. I wanted to share something real quick um, on here. So Storm went to that Tom Reed thing today, mm -hmm. right? Storm, I don't know if you can take my shot, Storm, so you can see it. And he was complaining about this muffin. Oh. <laughs> see the muffin? Well, he see. finally got the muffin. He's like, I finally got my muffin. I'm on my way back. Yeah. <laughs> He's been staring this muffin down for like a good 20 minutes as he wait, waits for Tom Reed to come in and uh, finally got the muffin. Nice. So. Good job. That's Good. what it's all about. It's, if you're gonna be out in the field, if you're gonna go to a press food, thing, right? you gotta get the free press food. I'm telling you. So, speaking it's of about free that kind of service that they have, right? Speaking of free, your weather forecast. No one pays for it, right? <laughs> I don't charge you for my weather forecast, so it is free. What for a transition, next, right? Yeah, yeah. For the next seven days of your life, again, we're basically gonna be cool again today. I've got my high down at 51, but take a look at that. I don't remember the last time I created a seven-day forecast with that much sunshine. Yeah. And uh, we actually nice warm temps. up over the weekend to above average temperatures once again. So that roller coaster continues up, down, up, down. It continues, guys. It's October. Up it's with it, it, girl. Rock Shuffle with it, girl. It. Show yeah. them it, girl. With a bang, bang. Bang with it, girl. Dance with it, girl. Get with it, girl. With a bang, bang. Come on, come on. Turn the radio on. It's hey, right in the night. And I know I'm better. Tomorrow, 24-7, visit WNYU.com.